what was the most important thing for you about adapting uh, uh, such a uh, loved and well-known material as Alita? It was really just making sure that it was going to appeal to as wide an audience as possible because we wanted to do it at the very highest level of quality and envelope pushing as far as special effects goes and the way to pay for that is by getting as many people to see it. I identified with Elite, I identified with you know the Christoph Waltz character, I identified with all the characters. So um, getting the characters right is key and to do something that Jim envisioned many many years ago which is trying to bring for the very first time a photoreal manga character to life with the large eyes and, uh, and the smaller mouth. And was it easy to combine John and James' uh, filmmaking style with yours? I've studied their films so much. I wanted to make a Jim Cameron movie, and it read so much like a Jim Cameron movie. I didn't want to go adapt it into something that I would do. I wanted to go do it the way uh, Jim would do it if he was there. And what does your experience with the low-budget movies um, help you when it comes to a big project like this? Oh, everything. I mean, Jim and I both started in the very low budget world. When you have no money, you, you, you only can rely on story and character. No matter how big the movie gets, the most important thing is the story and the characters. And some manga adaptations had, were criticized because of whitewashing or cult cultural appropriation. Were you nervous about that or did you have that in mind? We didn't have to be as nervous about it as others do because of what Kashiro created. Mm -hmm. He created a manga that is not set in Asia. Mm -hmm. He created characters that are a melting pot of the world and aren't just Asian specific characters. And Kashiro has been uh, you know, with us and he came and visited the set and so we felt that he gave us an opportunity to take the best of what the mangas have as a style and apply it to cinema.